Hello my friends at Forex Minute Pro, uh, Omar here to help you out a little bit in case today's post is something that is a little bit confusing to you as far as, hey, I don't know if I can trade uh, any indexes on my broker, so I'm going to help you find out if you can or not. And in case you don't know about this feature on MetaTrader, you just might learn something new today. So uh, what we're going to be doing to find out if we have instruments, because maybe you just have Forex pairs as you open up uh, your market watch window, which is this little button here. You can see you push it, it goes away, and that gives us all of our symbols that we can trade. But you go down the list, and it looks like all you have are Forex pairs, maybe, right? You go down to the bottom. Oh, no. Well, what we are going to have to do is right-click on this area, and we're going to select Show All. And it's going to now populate this list with all pairs that your broker carries, and you may find some new ones that you might be interested in trading. So we're going to go down the list, and you can see it's gotten quite a bit larger. And as we get to the bottom, and this is usually where they are, we're going to find what we're looking for. Okay. And so here you can see we've got the NASDAQ 100, down here we've got the Australia 200, and as we go through you'll see that there are, uh, the FTSE is here, the CAX is here, we've even got Brent, and we've got the DAX, the S&P 500. And so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this and do a new chart window. We're going to go ahead and close this. And now you have the DAX to trade uh, if that's something that's offered and you can start building your charts from here. Now, as I mentioned in the article, uh, you will either have the futures or the spot market. And as you can see with LMAX, my broker, uh, it is calculated based off of the futures market. Some of you will have the spot market. So when you are looking at prices, uh, they will be different. The futures price is different than the spot price. But, of course, I explain that in the article. So now that you know how to find your instruments, now you can go out there and start doing some of your chart analysis as we begin our foray into the index markets. Take care.